Secretary Mayorkas' actions and decisions clearly meet the standard necessary for initiating impeachment proceedings. The actions, policies, and statements of Secretary Mayorkas easily meet that standard, and the American people completely agree, especially the witnesses that we've had before this committee, these parents who have had children murdered by fentanyl, murdered by illegal aliens, such as MS-13 crime uh, gang members. We should uh, certainly, I think, be embarrassed to be here today. This is a complete sham impeachment. Uh, I also like to point out that the previous speaker um, on this committee has been spending a lot of her time actually fundraising off of this impeachment effort. And so uh, the fact that she's uh, posturing to taking it seriously, I think, is quite, um, is quite a joke as well. Now, we've, in this Congress, which is the least productive uh, that we've had, as we all know, since the 1930s, we've only passed 23 laws, and, that's, and most of those, of course, have been generally terrible laws. But when the extreme majority cannot pass laws, they resort to political stunts and stunt impeachments, the one against the president and certainly the one here today. Now, we have heard over and over from constitutional scholars, including Republicans, that there's no basis for this impeachment. And I want to take a moment to correct the record on a couple things. I've heard my Republican colleagues claim that Trump secured the border and somehow President Biden opened it. Let's be clear and review the facts. The spike in migration started under Donald Trump. Border patrol apprehensions actually tripled in the last eight months of the Trump presidency, rising from more than 21,000 in May 2020 to over 71,000 that December as he was leaving office. So the migration spike started under Donald Trump, and we should make that very clear. Now, today, Secretary Mayorkas is also dealing with the fallout of historic crises happening across Latin America. Venezuela has completely collapsed and is in crisis. Ecuador is dealing with a historic gang crisis. Cuba and Haiti are also facing enormous challenges as well. The whole region is struggling to recover from extreme weather, droughts, and COVID-19. Meanwhile, a historic economic recovery in the U.S. has created a demand for workers. Now, all of this impacts the border. But we know that's not all. The majority blames Secretary Mayorkas for his policies for the surge of people coming here to seek asylum, but they won't accept any legislative proposals or funding to deal with the problem when the President and the Secretary offer them. Speaker Johnson has told Fox News multiple occasions now that he's taking his orders from Trump on the border. And he just said recently, as of today, that he won't even take up the Senate deal. Donald Trump speaks about immigrants with the same rhetoric that Hitler did, claiming that immigrants like me and my family, and I quote, pollute the blood of this country. He wants chaos, and he's admitted he even would like to see a recession happening this year. But I want to remind the public and the majority that will Donald the Trump- yield? Will the gentleman that, yield? I, I, I will not yield. I want to remind the public that Donald Trump and House Republicans also have their own ideas for the border. So let's review the majority's border ideas that they've actually presented. Here they are. Donald Trump actually has said that he wants to build alligator moats along the border. That's one of his incredible ideas. Another idea that Donald Trump has promoted is he actually wants to electrify the border fence and maybe even put some spikes on the border. That's another Donald Trump and MAGA majority border idea. Another idea, which I'm not sure how, how well it would go, is he wants to actually bomb northern Mexico with missiles. That's another Trump idea. And finally, I think one of the ones that I think um, is the most grotesque is suggestions that instead we should maybe just shoot migrants in the legs as they cross the border. So once again, the Donald Trump and MAGA plan is alligator moats, bombing northern Mexico, shooting migrants in the legs, and electrifying the fence and putting spikes on them. That is the Donald Trump border plan. And so, again, we are here today with these horrific ideas being presented constantly by the former president. This is all about trying to get Donald Trump reelected. Donald Trump himself is saying he wants no solutions this year out of the Congress. And Secretary Mayorkas and President Biden continue to offer solutions every day and are ready to actually talk about real immigration and border solutions in this country. And with that, I Mr. yield Mr. Garcia, back. will you yield for a clarifying question? Uh, sure. Can you clarify what you mean by 
um, the analogy that you just said that Donald Trump was Hitler? Well, when you say that you want to pollute the, when, when immigrants are polluting this country, th that, that to me and the blood of this country, that is absolutely uh, reminiscent of things that, that Adolf Hitler said. And in fact, his, his imagery, the way he supports white nationalism, the way he supports white supremacy, and those kind of comments are completely offensive to immigrants and hopefully to all Americans in this country. So just to be clear, you're drawing an analogy between Donald Trump saying he is like Hitler. I'm drawing an analogy that the rhetoric that Donald Trump uses is very much the rhetoric and the type of rhetoric that, that Adolf Hitler used. Gentlemen, time has expired. I now recognize Mr. Pfluger for five minutes of uh, discussion on the amendment and the nature of the substitute.